project that we've been working on is to convert. We have a, a large rock and mineral collection. Geolo geology departments, geosciences departments tend to be, uh, in a sense, big big archives in, in themselves because we hoard, collect rocks, minerals, fossils, the specimens that we work with. Um, and the geoscience department here is no exception and has a collection that dates back over 100, probably over 125 years. The department's been around for at least that long. Um, and all of that collection has been housed in, in a book uh, since then. So here we are in, in uh, 2012 and all of our collection was stored in the department and then cataloged merely in uh, a bound, <laughs> a, a mostly bound book that had all of this information. So it seemed appropriate that what we need to do is one, we need to be able to rebuild the database so that we can actually use it and not be worried about the book disintegrating. And two, we have all these great mineral uh, specimens and rock specimens that are museum quality a lot of the time um, and that people should be able to see them. So if we could construct not only be able to convert some of our database into something that is uh, usable today, but also be, have the, the images of the rocks, both um, uh, in hand samples, so what you can see, and in, in microscopic thin section, where we look at really thinly sliced uh, sections of the rock, and um, be able to integrate that into uh, the students writing descriptions of the rocks, because that's what a lot of geology is, is looking at the rocks, writing descriptions, and using those descriptions to interpret what that rock, where that rock came from, what its provenance is. Um, so that's kind of where this, the project came from, uh, and we've been spending, spending our time going through and, and looking through this collection at what, what some of the best specimens are, and converting it into um, uh, a digital archive of those specimens. So the, the process of creating the, the um, online uh, archive for the rocks and minerals um, involved a number of steps that uh, we had students helping uh, along the way because first we had to actually determine what we have. Um, so that involved taking, looking, uh, converting this, this archive that's all a handwritten ledger of all of the samples we have, supposedly where they're from, who collected them, when they were collected, all that information. Try to actually find the sample that matches up to this. So that was um, the first step of the challenge is finding, uh, finding the samples, digitizing this into a, uh, a spreadsheet so that we could actually match and make sure that if what we have and what we don't have. So the students went through and they helped in um, uh, converting this into an electronic version. And then once the, the development, the actual construction of the, the gallery um, was going, the students would um, took all the images um, uh, and uh, took both the, the microscopic and the, the macroscopic hand sample images to um, uh, match with all the samples that we are, um, we're looking for. And well, I think the, the biggest thing, again, is that before we would be limited to what samples uh, we would have room for in the classroom in terms of what the students could look at easily. Um, or what I, with the samples I knew where to find easily. But now we would have the ability that, let's say there's some relatively obscure mineral, but that happens to, to turn out, you know, let's say it's an important ore of some, of some metal. Um, the students could look it up in the database and we could see, A, what samples we were able to take images of. And then typically there are more samples than we have images uh, for so they could go through and find where those samples might be to look at other examples of those minerals. So it will allow us to um, more readily be able to have the students find and examine different specimens. And in geology, especially when you are um, a student coming in trying to learn all your rocks and minerals, the more things you can look at, the better off you're going to be. So that, that's a big piece of it. With any sort of group project like this, you're going to have some sort, you're going to develop n new ways to work with, with uh, 
you know, I've, I know I found new ways to work with uh, you know, our science library in Oriana. Um, the students, of course, have had a lot more experience now, and uh, all of those interactions, I think, have, have uh, helped both the geosciences department and the library work better together, and the students feel like they're part of the department more. So, and that that that's kind of what we've got from it.